Hey class, how's it going? We got two body problems at angles. So basically a lot of that second practice sheet is gonna be summed up into kind of two questions here. We did an incline planes kind of a four last week. And so if you got incline planes last week, there shouldn't be too, too much um, to add into those two body problems. So I'm gonna do question three and question six in this little video. If you need any extra help, just let me know. So question three is set up like this. We have two masses, one 16 kilogram, and it's on an inclined plane of 25 degrees. And then we have a mass of 20 just being suspended down. So let's kind of break these apart. I have A in red, B in blue. Let's break apart here our A block, our 16 here at angle. So force of gravity is going to be 16 times 9.8. And I get 156.8. Let's find that force normal. Again, anytime you have inclined planes, I added these two little formulas here. Anytime you have inclined planes, force normal is going to be cos theta times that force of gravity. And then that force parallel is going to be sine theta times force of gravity. So those, these formulas are added. They're also going to be added into your formula sheet, which is on your, like, it's one of the folders of the very, if you look at the files, there's a folder called formula sheet. These formulas have been added into the, into the dynamics part. So let's go through force normal. Cos theta, cos is 25 times 156.8 gives me... 142.1, 142.1, and then with this we can get force of friction. Force of friction is going to be that 142, because we use a force normal, times, I forgot to add a mu. Our mu was, for this question, 0 0.65. All right. All right. Now we can use that 0 0.65 times force normal to get a force of friction, which is 92.4. 92.4. Uh, we don't technically know which way that's going, but just looking at this, I'm pretty sure this is sliding this way. It's the only way to slide, so pretty sure force of friction is going that way with 92.4. Let's find force parallel. Force parallel is going to be sine theta. Sine theta times force gravity. So sine 25 times 156.8, and I get, what do I get? 66.3. Now you'll notice. Again, it's going to want to go down the ramp, so it's actually going to be helping this weight. Force parallel of 66.3 is going down. And then I put 92.4 here. Okay, so there's that broken into the two parts. Let's find this one, which is way easier. Because all I have is force gravity of B, 20 times 9.8, so 196. 196. All right, let's go and find our net force. Okay, net force equals 196 is pulling it down. Plus, it's going to plus this one because it's also going in the same direction. So plus that force parallel because that's helping. So plus 66.3 and then minus that force of friction. So minus, again, friction's always going the opposite direction. So 92.4, 92.4. So I get a net force of 160 something, 169.9, 169.9 newtons. Cool, there's my net force. Acceleration equals that 169.9 divided by 36. My total mass, both masses together. And then I get an answer of, what do I get an answer of? Uh, 4.72, 4.72. Okay, meters per second. Okay, you'll notice, squared. You'll notice that the way that I did this is very different from the notes. The notes is very formula and algebra based, okay? So they move around all of these like simple little steps that I do into one big formula. I, I wanted to show you both because um, different professors and different people will ask for different things. If you go to university and they want it fully algebra done first, I wanted to show you that it's there and you can do that all that formula stuff first. I don't like doing it first. I like breaking into my little chunks, getting my numbers and figuring this out. You still get the same answer. And all those little chunks are in that big formula, but this is the way that I like doing it. So you'll notice, yeah, like that formula, if you look at question three in the solution key, it's huge, it's long, and then it comes down to this exact answer. I break it into the different little vectors, figure it out after that and we'll be fine. So there's that question. There's question three from our practice sheet number two, the one at angles. Let's do question six right now. All right. 
and let's draw this off. So this one has two, it has, sorry, it does not have two, it has three, three different masses. Makes a nice thing. We have just, uh, each one has a mass of one, they're just like an M, so just imagine that there's one M, A mass. Um, and let's see what we got here. Uh, let's draw like this. So, I'm gonna flip my page. All right, let's draw this out. Mass here, I'm gonna put one M. I know it just says M, but imagine, just like you're using your math, okay? One M. There's a variable and no number. We're gonna assume it has a one. One M. Okay, I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna try to have three different colors, but I'm gonna put these through the same color because they're very easy. I'm gonna call this A and C. I will do this one though in a different color because it's got its own unique stuff here. Now before I do that, let's actually add an angle and the mute before I forget it. Angle, 30. What is my mute? Mu is 0 0.45, 0 0.45, all right. So these are just, again, how I find A and C, the forces, it's just gravity. So the nice thing is 1 times 9.8, 9.8 is pulling down. This, 9.8, pulling down. So these kind of cancel out. So it's all going to be up to B. What happens in B when I actually break it apart? Well, yes, force of gravity is 9.8, but let's break it down to that force friction and force parallel. So we need force normal first. Force normal, cos of 30 times 9.8 gives me 8.49. And I times that by 0 0.45, 8.49 times 0 0.45 to get a force of friction of 3.8. So force friction, okay, is 3.8. All right, let's do our force parallel, because I know force parallel is going to be going this way. Force parallel is going to be going this way. Which means force of friction is going to go the other way. So this will be force of friction. So now that i got force of friction over there, we can have our 3.8 right there. Force parallel right here is going to be our sine theta times 9.8, which gives us 4.9. 4.9. So this thing will be moving this way. Let's actually do what I do for to get net force. To get net force. Well, let, we have four forces kind of going here because we're going to add these two. Even though they cancel out, I'll be in there for now. Net force. 9.8. That's this one. Plus 4.9. That's our force parallel. Minus. 3.8, that is our friction, minus 9.8. So I can, you gotta see I can cancel these 9.8s out because those are those. And I just get 4.9 minus 3.8. My net force is 1.1. That's my net force. And again, if I want acceleration, 1.1 over three. I have mass three, they're all connected. One and one and one and three. 1 by one divided by three is 0 0.3 something, 366 meters per second squared. All right, so there's that question. There's question number six. Question number six from your practice sheet number two and kind of going over, again, incline planes, what they all kind of mean. Breaking apart that incline plane is the biggest part. Again, this is kind of ish like review from grade 12. We didn't really have this. We added more angles this year to incline planes um, and we added a little bit of tension. Again, if you wanted to find tension in this one, it wouldn't be too, too hard. Well, again, which way is it moving? It's moving this way. So again, not too, too bad. You just have your, it's moving down. So tension nicely would be my mass one. That's the one that's moving. Okay, times acceleration. Well, I have 9.8. Because it's going down, it's gonna help my tension. Minus 0 0.366. And that would be your answer. That's it. So basically you take 9.8, Minus 0 0.366, and you answer there. It's 9.4 something, 9.5 something. Um, so tension is not too bad there. So we've added a few different things here, not too bad. But again, it's for those of you that have not done grade 11 physics or haven't done it in a long time and have like, oh, I forget force normal, I forget force parallel. How to
come see me, okay? Come to your person. I want to be able to help you. I'm, I, I'm here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This dynamics can be a very quick review. Uh, well, sorry, it can be hard to review quick. Um, so if you want some help, come see me. All right, thanks class, have a good day.